welcome to the Burlington County Animal Shelter. I am a volunteer here and today I am going to show you the proper way to walk a dog. First of all, you must remember these dogs are in the shelter and their anxiety and energy level is sky high. You must come in focused and relaxed. You have to take your time. Now the first thing you have to remember when you come into the shelter, when you get your leash, you have your clothespin, you figure out what dog you're going to. When you get up to the kennel, it's very easy. You put your clothespin on the kennel door to remind you where you took that dog from. Then there are different ways to get a dog out of the door exactly. The way I like to do it is to just loop them right out the front. I open up my leash and make a very big lasso and then I slide it over the dog's head and I tighten it, I use the stopper and I tighten it high behind his ears. It's very important to get this leash up behind the ears. This is where you're going to have control, especially for the bigger dogs. The smaller dogs, this might not have anything to do with them. They're smaller, they're lighter. You can walk them, you have plenty of strength over them, but a lot of these dogs are pit bull type dogs, they're 40, 50 and higher pounds, and you need some control. So make sure you get that leash up high behind their ears. There is another way to walk dogs out of the shelter. Um, there are some dogs that you're afraid to get out of the kennel, so we will show you a different way to do it. And one way that I do it is I throw a treat into the kennel, when the dog goes back into the kennel to get the treat is one easy way to walk into the door. I want to talk about something else that we do here over at the shelter that's um, in case you want to get a dog on the other side of the kennel. There is a guillotine door that separates the inside and the outside. There is a cable attached to the front of the cage and all you have to do is pull on the cable and it will open and shut the door. The only thing I've got to tell you about this door when you use it, no matter what time of day it is, always make sure the door on the other side is closed. When you come back and if you want to go back in the same way, make sure the door on the other side is closed. You never know who's been cleaning, who's been in and out of those doors, and if those doors are wide open and you open that guillotine door, that dog is gone. When you bring your dog out of his kennel, go slow. The slower you go, the feedback that you give to the dog is to relax. Once you feel you have your dog secure, shorten your leash. Whenever you are in the kennel area, you have to have a short leash. When you walk your dog out the kennel, keep him next to your hip and have a tight hold on him. There's people coming and going, dogs coming and going, and you have to be prepared at all times. When you get to any openings, slow down. Get your dog to slow down instead of dart out the doors. If your dog will sit, have him sit before you go out the door. If he won't sit, at least let him look up and acknowledge you so you're not darting out that door and teaching him to run out the door. This gives you control, this gives you dominance over the dog, and the dog will listen to you. You are now the leader. When you go to your first gate, it's a difficult gate, but it takes practice opening it, but it's not that hard. Make your dog wait. Don't have your dog pulling you and getting you off balance. Make him slow down. You slow down, make the dog slow down. This is time when you can, this, at this time, you can adjust your leash and make sure it's up behind his ears. Now once you've gone through this gate, remember, you have to close it. It's difficult. Make sure the pipe goes back into the ground, but it's very important that this gate is closed in case a dog ever gets loose inside the kennel. Once you get through this gate, the dog, sometimes they're in a hurry. They do have to go to the bathroom. They can't wait to get outside. And it's understandable if they do pull a little bit to get to the grassy area. But again, try to have a little bit of control you don't know what dog is around the corner. Once you get to the grassy area and your dog is behaving, go ahead and give him a little bit of a leash. 
Go to the end of the leash and let him have a nice walk. Now, if you have a dog that you have a little bit of a hard time with, I'm gonna give you a few pointers about if a dog's pulling. When the dog pulls in one direction, when he gets to the end of the leash, give a snug, give a tight hold, and then change directions. Make him go where you want him to go. Keep doing that repeatedly, back and forth, until the dog realizes it's up to you what direction you're going. And you will see this dog settle down and all of a sudden start watching you in which direction you're going. Every once in a while, check to see if your dog knows how to sit. If your dog does know how to sit, every few minutes, make him sit. It just reminds the dog you are in control. Make sure you have plenty of poop bags with you. They're, they're supplied in the cabinets, they're supplied at the front desk. So have a pocket full because you're going to use them. Remember, pick up after your dog. There's a big trash can right there and you can throw it away right into the big dumpster. When you take your dog back to its kennel, again, when you get off the grassy area and you're heading towards the gates, tighten your lead and have control over your dog. Remember, when you go through those doors, you don't know what's on the other side. So have control of your dog and always look before you go around any corners. Have your dog tight at your hip and take him back to his kennel. When you get your dog back to his kennel, walk him inside, and this is very important. You must take your time before you take off his leash. Again, open your stopper up very long, open your leash up very large, and, to, and slip it over his ears very slowly. Be very slow and careful with your dog. He has to settle down. Right now, he's very uptight and high strung from being outdoors. Once you slip this leash over his ears, then you close the kennel door. After you close the kennel door, make sure the chain is latched. This is just a little chain, just in case the latch opens up, it gives a little extra security. Don't forget your clip, your clothespin, and then don't forget to write a little note on his chart. One more thing about walking a dog. Don't be a hero. If you take a dog out and you realize this dog is either too strong for you, you just don't trust the dog, or you just don't feel comfortable with this dog, just take the dog right back. You don't have to walk that one. Choose another dog to walk. I want to thank you for your time and dedication in helping these dogs get out and get some exercise. By giving them some structured walks, you are going to help these dogs be develop and become better dogs so we can get them adopted out.